Hey, what's going on guys? Pizza Like with here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you two super cool and super easy ways how you can create a glitch effect for your videos and titles in Premiere Pro. So without wasting more time, let's go straight to my laptop. Okay guys, in Premiere Pro, I've got video file and a text file. First, I'm going to show you how to create this glitch effect onto the video file. I'm going to select it, zoom in a little bit, go at the beginning of the video and move two frames forward and make a cut. I'm going to make a few more cuts like this one, but you can make as many as you like for your effect. After I've done the cuts, I'm going to delete a few of them like that. And then the next thing I'll do is go to the first bit, hold Alt and make a copy. And I'm going to do exactly the same with the other two. And once we've done these copies, I'm going to select the first one, go to effect control panel and decrease the opacity to 50%. Then move the position slightly to the left. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with the second one. Decrease the opacity to 50% and this time move it to the right. And with the third bit, exactly the same. But this time I'm going to zoom it a little bit in. And when I play it, and you're going to see the difference straight away. But it doesn't look like a glitch effect yet. And to do this, I'll select again the first beat, go to colors. And from there, I'm going to increase the temperature and also the tint. But you can play around with the colors and choose whatever colors you like for your effects. I'm just going to do some random colors for this example. And then for the third beat, what I'm going to use is the arithmetic effects. Then I'm going to go to the effects and type down arithmetic. From there, I'm going to take it and apply it to the third bit. Go back to the effect control panel, go down to arithmetics and from operator, I'm going to change it from XOR or HOR, I don't know how you say it, to max. From there, I'm going to increase the red value to 255 and change the blend mode to linear torch and when i play now you're gonna see the difference straight away and bam we've got this glitch effect but to make it even better what we can do is just add some sound effects and the difference is massive so when i apply the sound effect and play it now it's amazing and that's how you can create this glitch effect for your videos and you can make it even as a transition next i'll show you how to create a glitch effect over a text title first create a text then select it hold out and duplicate the layer after that go to the effect control panel and from there i'm going to type down wave well, I'll grab the effects and apply it to the duplicated layer. Then I'm going to move towards the effect control panel, scroll down to wave warp and go down to the wave type and change sign to square. Then I'm going to change the wave height to 50% and the wave width to 100. And also I'm going to change the direction to zero degrees, but you can choose whatever direction you like. Also, a good wave speed will be minus 10 or negative 10. And then after we apply those effects, what I'm going to do, go back to the timeline, select the duplicated layer, hold shift and the right arrow of the keyboard and move it to the right. Then I'm going to press C and cut it over there. Then I'm going to move the cursor a few frames forward and make another cut. Then from there, I'm going to again hold shift and move one frame forward another cut and then another cut and then after we've done all the cuts i'm going to delete this part of it and shorten the original layer then again i'm going to make cut to the original layer and again one more cut here and delete this bit also i'm going to delete this bit of the text and then I'm going to make it over here one more cut which is going to be the last one and once we've customized the text what i'm going to do is select the second bit of the duplicated layer and move it on to the track number three and now when i play it you're going to see that we've got kind of glitch effect but we can make it even better and to do this i'm going to select the third bit of the duplicated layer go to the effect control panel and scale it down which is going to add a additional animation to this effect. Also, I'm going to change the direction of the second bit of the duplicated layer from zero. I'm going to put it up to 90. And when I play it now, 
we've got a cool glitch effect but we are missing the colors so to add some colors we're gonna go back to effects i'm gonna delete the wave warp and type down rgb gonna select the color balance and apply it to the first bit then go back to the fan control panel and reduce the green and the blue so we can leave the reds then to make it easier for the next bit i'm gonna press ctrl and c and then go to the second bit ctrl and v so i'm gonna place this effect straight away this time i'm gonna reduce the red and bump up the blue to let's say 156 or 100 and exactly the same i'm gonna do with the last bit and this time i'm gonna bump up the green and reduce the red and let's play it now and we've got this cool glitch effect and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you enjoyed it and if you did so i will appreciate if you hit that like button and subscribe my channel also if you like to see more premiere pro tutorials you can check the videos at the end of this one thank you for watching and i'll see you next time